Yep, we have a triple header set up here today, and this is match number two of that triple header. Going for the, uh, he wants that orb, so he's playing on the aggressive side here, and well, uh, he wants it, he got it. Yep, the aggression pays off there for Mr. Dino. Rockets for Starwin, but Vitamin R also for Mr. Dino. So Mr. Dino getting some really good drops here. And another sub 80 at 78 seconds into Eat My Shrapnel. That is a hot time, ladies and gentlemen. A chance to get out of here sub two. There's a late orb there for Starwin, is able to get that. The uh, Razor Shield did not block him from picking that up. Does get the uh, Shrapnel dude down just in time, but it's a 142, so about 24 seconds back. Starwin needs to keep this orb healthy if he possibly can a Razor Shield. That's gonna help against, oh, but the purple shirt takes away his orb. That could be costly, but the game shows Mercy Bergs, gets him a replacement orb. Mr. Dino, a little slow on that, eat my shrapnel. Looked like he may have lost a second or so, but it's still a 201 going into total carnage. Opening nuke, but it's in a bad spot for Mr. Dino. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that alone and continue to control the middle of the room. Oh, and oh he the loses orb. his orb too before he could get the razor shield. You hate to see that. And this could get Starwind to, ch oh, nearly lost his life there to that purple shirt. Oh, that could have been disgusting there. For St but then he loses at the end anyways. No. Oh, wow. 234 going into total carnage there. Ah, oh, that could have been Starwind's chance there. He had that orb, loses it right at the end of the room. You hate to see that. Opening rockets for Starwin, though. A key for Mr. Dino, so another replacement orb for Starwin. He gets his third orb of the game here. Let's see if he's able to keep it intact, though. He's doing a lot of dancing. You want to try to steady yourself with that orb. Now a razor shield. Can he get to it? Yes. And Mr. Dino gets clubbed down by the purple shirts here. He's had a rough go here in Total Carnage. The room living up to its namesake, but it looks like this is... The oh, and there's a shrapnel explosion! Wow! Absolute disaster here for Mr. Dan. It's going to be a 321 into the bonus room. Starwin, again, has a chance to gain some time and now get some rockets to complement everything that he already has. So Starwin might have a chance here to gain a little bit of ground on Mr. Dino here, but now the Razor Shield almost fully evaporated. More rockets though. Oh, if he can keep some rockets in. He's gonna have some rockets to take with him into, into uh, eat my, or tank trouble. 345, he gained, what, 20, uh, some 10 seconds on Mr. Dino there. Every little bit helps. This is a very good pace here for Starwin, but this is where the rubber is going to meet the road here, Burgundy. We've got, he's got a little bit of rockets. He may have enough to take down both of the gunners on the wall with efficient firing. Not going to be easy, but he does have a chance. Let's see what happens here. Gets one, but only focused on one. Decided to kind of go against the uh, foot soldiers here, so we still have one gunner on the floor here. Mr. Dino has spreaders, and oh, the tanks shoot him down, and Starwin loses his life, too. Lost the orb, and then it, uh, you see it happen so much. I know at least with me you do. You lose the orb, and then that just kind of breaks your concentration enough where the life tends to follow right after. Starwin does get some rockets here. She is a smart bomb, a 445. Mr. Dino will tell you, he will, he's not going to be pleased with that kind of time. Starwin gets a well-deserved nuke there to take a little bit of a rest, but needs to see those drops start. He's getting a couple of foots. There's a spreader. Mr. Dino going to go for the manual. You'll love to see it as the opening drive. You can just go right down the side, but gets vibrated. And it's going to be blocked from that lobber. Starwin definitely losing some time here, but didn't lose all that much time. I mean, he's gonna be about 40 some oddball seconds back, does get it before the explosion, 45 seconds back. He has a chance to PB if he can get some good drops. Let's find out what happens. So Mr. Dino with the lobbers, second arm is falling, and now he gets a spreader in a good location. Gets it just in time. This is, uh, yeah, the, the uh, Mutoid man moving a little bit away just to 
be a bit on the frustrating side. Tries to get a little more of a manual in, and of course there's an invulnerability. Order of operation game. Ooh, look at the spreader that Strowman got after taking the death. He has a chance to really do some damage here. Oh, Bergs. Another oh. spreader. He needs if he gets an invulnerability. Oh, watch there be invulnerability now. Where is the drop? I don't even see it. No, it was a lot. Oh, yeah. He was blocked by it there by Mutoid. Tough break there for Starwin. Gets grenades instead. But ultimate form now for Mr. Dino here. Following that up with some rockets. Rockets now on the Starwin side. Both gunners are still intact on Starwin side. He needs to try to take them down if he can. And now he gets a spreader and he's not going to be able to take the death. He needs an invulnerability. He's going to switch it up. He does not want to go for the manual here. As Mr. Dino's on the final form. I don't think these rockets are going to be enough. Looks like they are. Wow, oh, they were. Okay, that's a key drop there for Starwind. There is a lobber 703. Mr. Dino is gonna tell you he's not very happy with that run, but it doesn't matter how ugly it is, it's a win on the score sheet for Mr. Dino. As a Philadelphia sports fan, I can't tell you how many times I've heard that. Oh, I can imagine. Here's another lobber here for Starwin. If he can get a spreader right here, he could still get the PB here, but it looks like it is starting to fall by the wayside here if he does not get a spreader on this next drop. Gets another lobber. Penultimate form now for Starwind. Oh, gets hit by the shrapnel there. So no PB this run for Starwind. Mutoy Man just doing Mutoy Man things here, and now more empty drops. My word. Okay, are you done yet, game? Asking for uh, at least 77 friends here. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, there's a lobber now for Starwin. Final form should be coming real soon now. Oh, uh, tries to go for that rocket and hits the the landmine. And wow, that that last form of Mutoid Man was in a hurry. Oh, certainly is. But if you think that's fast, you got to play it on normal mode when you get to the evil MC boss. He moves even faster than that. I mean, if that's how fast Mutoid Man moves, imagine how fast that would have been if that was the evil MC fight. He would have just been there in like a tenth of a second. And there goes a Mutoid Man on Starwind side. It's going to be about a nine-minute flat, approximately. Well, it's actually going to be more than that, because that's a game over. <laughs> oh. oh, dear. So it ends up being a 9.06 for Starwind, but it'll be Mr. Dino taking game number one of this set. Didn't realize that things were uh, were a little chippy in the in the in the chat as well. Holy smokes! Intensity all over the place here. Oh, no question about it here, Burgundy. All right, looks like both of our runners might be ready for game number two. I'll see if they are, and if so, we'll turn them loose. Both runners are ready. I have them underway. The countdown being applied. Good luck being wished because our runners know they'll need it. Good luck. All right, and away we go. Game number two between Mr. Dino and Starwind. And both of them do get their Razor Shield. 
We'll see what kind of drops we're dealing with and vulnerability versus grenades. Nothing to write home about for either. Once again, it is going to be Mr. Dino with the whole shot. That looked like a better room there for Starwind, as it's going to be a 41 for Mr. Dino. A Starwind is going to be a 44. So, yeah, he did improve from his first run. So he's about three seconds back going into collect power-ups. Let's see what kind of drops a foot. Not a great start there for Mr. Dino. Starwing gets a Razor Shield. That's pretty good. Now let's see if you can get some weapons to complement it. Again, Mr. Dino fishing for that orb. It worked out for him last time. We'll see what happens here this time in Collect Power-Ups. So far, a couple of invulnerabilities in a row. There's a spreader now for Starwing, but neither player is seeing an orb yet. Well, Dino gets the blue orb. That's what you want. Starwing gets the green orbs, which are grenades. Those you don't really want. No, I'm absolutely not. So Mr. Down with a 126 going into Eat My Shrapnel, but more importantly, does have the orb. Starwind, that was a better collect power-ups, 134. So about eight seconds back, but his problem right now is that he does not have an orb. No fault of his own, it's just that the game has decided not to give him that orb. And that was a good idea for Starwind, even though it's going to be a little bit of a time penalty using that nuke. One of them was about to explode. He was going to get overwhelmed by that shrapnel there. I think that was a good move there from Starwind. Yeah, generally you don't want to use those nukes in Eat My Shrapnel, but there are some rare instances where that's kind of the lesser of two evils. Absolutely there. And that's the end of the room for Mr. Dino at 210. So definitely not on the pace that he was last run going into Total Carnage. But let's see if he has a better room this time because he really struggled with it in game number one. That's going to be the end of the room for Starwind, but again, he is still orbless going into Total Carnage. It's been a rough start for Starwind, again, through no fault of his own. It's just game is not giving him anything to help him out. There's a spreader for Mr. Dino, but he does have some rockets left in the clip before he's going to grab that. And he does so just in the nick of time, trying to keep the middle here and doing a good job without a razor shield. Starwind finally gets his first orb of the game. And then a Razor Shield to complement it. Great pair of drops there for Starwind. He, he'll have a chance to mitigate that time loss. And definitely a better total carnage there for Mr. Down. He's in there at 3.05. That's a very solid tournament time to get in there. I'd buy that for a dollar. There's some rockets up top for Starwind. He's going to get to it. Still has one fragment of the shield. There goes that final piece of the Razor Shield. This has not been a bad room so far for Starwind. And they, I say that and he loses his orb right at the end. Tough break. And there's that swirl of shame. Well, the Razor Shield dices that up and now just a couple of shrapnel left. And it's a 349 into the bonus room, so he's 44 seconds back as Mr. Dino lost his orb, does pick up rockets, and what kind of movement was that? Mr. Dino with some nifty dancing to get around all of those foot soldiers. I have no idea how he didn't take a death there. That was some great movement there, Bergs. I guess it was just fortunate that uh, one decided to not bring their billy club out, because I'm sure that would have certainly done it, but yeah, that was very impressive. He's going to get into their uh, 419, another orb for Starwind. It's going to be tough to keep it with both of these gunners on the wall. He's trying to focus on one if he can. Watch out for that travel, and he loses the orb. And then his life in the process. There is the swirl. Starting off with a lobber there for Mr. Dino. Oh! But he gets shot down by the gunners. Starwind takes out the wall gunners, but gets gunned down by the tanks. Living up to their name, Tank Trouble. Oh, and he does get a spreader, which was able to take down that tank. Uh, Starwind trying to get back to the middle, but then just gets overpowered by foot soldiers coming from that bottom door here. More lobbers now for Mr. Dino here as the second arm falls off. There's a spreader, and Starwind loses another orb. And that lead continuing to grow here for uh, Mr. Dino. There's some rockets for Starwind. 
Follow that up by an invulnerability. Yeah, rocket's the ideal weapon that you want here for tank trouble, just so they can mow everything down. More rockets now for Starwind, and I have no idea. that That is going to be the end of the room. Again, another chance to PB here for Starwind. Try to get that sub-8. He's in there at 536, but he's more than 90 seconds back of Mr. Dinos. He's now on the final form. Definitely a much better run for Mr. Dino here in game number two. And now, of course, he gets the spreader at the final form because the game knows. Can't do the nine times damage with the spreader on the final form, but... This weapon could be enough, and it is enough to pull a 6 x Very solid time for Mr. Dino. An improvement of almost a minute from the previous one, so that sounds a little bit more like what Mr. Dino is used to. At the 6 8 very solid time. is going to win you a high percentage of matches in this tournament. There's a lobber now for Starwind. Trying to get that second arm popped off of that gunner. That was enough to take down that gunner. Gets the rockets right before they disappeared. He's looking for spreaders now. There's a spreader. Oh, but did he wait too long? And he's going to get blocked. Ah, uh, yeah, I hate to see it. He could have gotten a lot of damage in, and that would have really helped his PB chances. Ugh. And that was a villain block if I ever saw one. Yep. Anytime you run into a block, you will lose five seconds off of the clock. <laughs> uh, never mind. Anyways, the rib cage is now exposed for a uh, mutoid man. Uh, he could still get a PB. If he gets another spreader, he it could still happen. Oh, that 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 was a perfect location too, Bergs. Oh wow, game. Got got the right location drop, but the wrong drop. It was even blue too, just the wrong blue thing. Mm-hmm. Well, there's the spreader, but it was right on his feet, and it wouldn't have mattered. He would have had needed to go a long ways to make that happen. Final form should be coming up soon. So again, no PB for Starwind. Again, Mutoid Man, that that troll block of that spreader right there. And now he gets a spreader once on the final form, just like Mr. Dino did. Ugh. This game really trolling Starwind today. Unfortunately, missing too many shots there on that... Uh, Grenade launching and that range not and it gets another spreader. Jeez. All right, so that'll do it for Starwind here in game number two. And it is Mr. Dino going up two games to nil in this best of five match. All right, game number three is coming up between Mr. Dino and Starwin. I'm going to get these runners ready to go. It's 
So whomever advances here will take on the winner of the 11 and 22 matchup of E.T. Go Ham and Johnny Link. And whomever falls back here will actually take on whoever loses between those two in the second chance bracket. Absolutely, and we do have both runners ready to go. I have counted them down, so we should have game number three underway really shortly. Good luck. All right, here we go. Game number three between Mr. Dino and Starwind. Let's see what happens. Mr. Dino, if he wins, we'll move on to the next round. Both of these runners do have their razor shield. I know grabbing that foot, which will make it a little bit, a uh, little bit quicker at the end of the room to get towards the end here, just to save maybe that quarter second half second something oh this like is that. an excellent 39 a, a mid 39 for mr dino that is an excellent time for arena one i think it's the best we've seen so far today starman's about nine seconds back with about a mid 48 there is a smart bomb for mr dino again he is fishing for that orb he's gotten Orbs in uh, collect power-ups in the first two games. He's looking to go three for three. A foot for Starwind. Not a great opening drop for him. But there's some vitamin R. Spreader now for Mr. Dino. More rockets for Starwind. Efficient firing. and But there's an orb. Three for three is Mr. Dino and orbs in wow. collect power-ups. Wow. Yeah, the time's not going to be great for Mr. Dano because he got that orb very, very late. But he is going to have the lead because, once again, Starwin is orbless at the end of Collect Powers. And he should have grabbed that nuke because that was the end of the room there. So that cost him a few seconds. 143. Watch out for that swirl. Ooh, it's still on the loose. Does get it taken down. Just shrapnel dudes left on Mr. Dinoside. Rockets now for Starwind. And he somehow did not get clubbed down there. That was too close for comfort. 209 into total carnage for Mr. Dino. Starwind still needs to finish off the foot soldiers here and more of the Mr. Shrapnels. And he is still orbless. And that orb providing double firepower and you can see how instrumental not having it is versus having it. Just being able to mow down all these foot soldiers, shrapnels, and the like. Yeah, he's now 26 seconds back because he just does not have an orb to use here. We He didn't get an orb until this room in game number two. We'll see if the game decides to be generous and finally give him an orb. Vitamin R, though, for Starwind. That should help him at least mitigate a little bit of the losses there, but Dino loses his orb. Loses it towards the end of the room there, so it's going to be a 306, a good time, but that's going to make the beginning of Tang trouble that much more difficult for Mr. Dino. Still no orb, though, for Starwind. And there's a nuke. This will be a good time to grab it. Very good. Of course, it's not the end of the room. No, not quite. Finally, an orb late in total carnage for Starwind. Now another razor shield also late in the room, but it should help him finish it up as Mr. Dino takes down one of the gunner's rockets. And Starwind is going to have a little bit. Oh, he used them to. Oh. If he was a little bit more frugal on his rockets, he would have had a few to take with him to tank trouble. Yeah, that a little bit of that might have just been the frustratedly holding the button down at the end of the room. Yeah, we've seen that happen a few times. And there's an orb uh, replacement for Mr. Dino more than a minute after he had lost it towards the end of Total Carnage. Starwin needs a really good opening drop here. Let's see if the game decides to give him something of use. Spreaders ain't bad. He can take down one of the gunners. 
He's going to try to take, and he gets the other one down. Very good. But it is uh, Mr. Dano at the Mutoin Man fight first. Chance of the sub six here. Oh, Starwin loses the orb there and gets a horrible replacement in grenades, but he's going to pick it up, trying to fish for a better drive. Well, the invulnerability is, oh, I was going to say something when you don't have the orb, but then gets fired down by that tank. Oh, and a key for Mr. Dino. Good use of the nuke there by Starwind to kind of give him a little bit of a reset, but this is typical tank trouble trash now for Starwind after losing that orb, and then, dude, where are my weapons? Well, a weapon that was certainly applied by Mr. Dino was the ball buster on, uh, on Mutoid Man. Yeah, that special technique that enables you to do 42% of a form damage. So, very good there. The end of the room now for Starwin. Again, a PB is still possible with about a two-minute and change fight there. He needs about a 220. There's another key for Mr. Dano. Come on, game. There's no pleasure dome here. Starwin going to ride the lobber train here. Does take down both the gunners. Nice shooting there using those lobbers. And now a replacement there. Very good. That's the weapon you want to have if you're not getting spreaders. Oh, good movement there by Starwin to get out of the way before he got run over by Troll Toy, man. Final form now for Mr. Dano. Are the Rockets going to be enough? Yes, they are. And Mr. Dano will sweep the series three games to none and move on to the second round of the winner's bracket. Oh, he can't take the death. Starwin can't take the death. Oh, if he can get... Oh, watch him being invulnerable. Nope. Uh, I'm telling you, it's going to happen. It's going to happen, though, Bergs. You know it's going to happen. You get the ultimate weapon. You're trying to do manuals. You get run over, and a second later, boom, there's your invulnerability. Now, the game just seems to want to give a lot of grenades here to Starwind. And, oh, a key, of course. Wow. Just wow. I mean, I get that Starwind is the underdog in, coming in, but the game has just done him no favors. He's seen one spreader so far. It was in a bad location. Not, you know, not quick enough to be able to take a death and just absolutely trolling the heck out of him. If he could get the spreader, though, right now, he could still get the PB, but he'd have to get it right now. Nope. I mean, he's, no, not happening. Just avoiding those exploding shrapnels, and this uh, appears to be OG strats back-to-back-to-back uh, -back -to -back lobbers here. Yeah, Starwin getting a whole bunch of lobbers here, but it, once again, it will not be a PB, unfortunately, for Starwind. So that sub-8 is going to have to wait another day. Yeah, he's going to run into the mine while well, he was hoping for a spreader. That would have been a good spot for it. Well, it would have been a good spot if he wasn't blocked. Because <laughs> then he could have gotten the maximum transfer damage because that was right before final form. And then the shrapnels also come into play here as well. G game, are you done yet? Just asking for a friend. There's the invulnerability. That came about 30 drops too late. And down goes Mute Toy Man. So Starwin will go into the second chance bracket. Mr. Dino will move on to the second round of the winner's bracket, taking it three games to nil.